What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. Today I wanted to show off this little micro USB Bluetooth adapter I ordered on Amazon. I need to test it out using my Wii U Pro Controller, my Wiimote, as well as my PlayStation 4 controller. Now these are all Bluetooth compatible and the way that I use the Wii U Pro Controller as well as the Wiimotes is with a program called WinUsoft. If you haven't seen WinUsoft, I'll put a link to it down in the description. It basically routes Nintendo controllers into X input devices for use on a PC and that allows me to do some pretty cool stuff such as play my Nintendo 3DS over the Wi-Fi using my Wiimote. Now I also have my PlayStation 4 controller which I primarily am using with KitKat Touch which again allows me to play my Nintendo 3DS but I'm not always near a USB port to plug it in. So I'm going to see if DS4 Windows is going to be compatible as well with this little Bluetooth adapter. I know some people have ordered some Bluetooth adapters in the past and they can't get their Wiimotes or their Wii U Pro controllers to work with them. And I'm hoping that this one will work in both situations for DS4 Windows as well as WinUsoft. Let's test this out. Quick little look at the front of the package. You can see it is a Bluetooth 4.0 micro USB adapter by Aventry. You can also see it is plug and play with most Windows 8 to 10 systems. So I'm hoping that we're just going to be able to plug this in and Windows 10 is just going to naturally pick it up as a Bluetooth stack. Let's go ahead and crack into this thing. Not a ton to it. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a tiny, tiny little GameCube disc. How cool is that? Look at that little GameCube disc. <laughs> it's so cute. Set that off to the side. You can see there's pretty much our dongle. It's fairly low profile. I have seen ones that are seemingly more low profile than that. But go ahead and pull this thing out of here. And there we have it. I've got a little USB hub right here. I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in and we'll see what happens. If you guys look down here in the bottom right of my taskbar, the second I plugged it in, I got a Bluetooth devices little icon that appeared. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my action center here and look at that. Bluetooth is enabled right from there and it seems to work perfectly with Windows 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch up WinUsoft here in a second and see if we can't get my Wiimote and my Wii U Pro controller to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and click this first though. So there, I can turn it on or off. That is super sweet. That is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want an external program to have to deal with my Bluetooth. I wanted it to be built right into this Action Center button over here. So I can go ahead and right click this and go over to the settings and everything seems to be working fine. I've got WinUsoft open here up on the computer, and if I go ahead and click the leftmost button at the top, this is gonna bring up a little sync menu. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press the sync button on my Wii U Pro Controller, and I'm gonna hope that my new little Bluetooth adapter will find it and sync it right up with the PC. So there we go, it has found it. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Oh, geez, it's already good to go. So it's found my Pro controller and I am super excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and press the attach as in X input device button and see if it works. And there we go. The first LED lit up. I have it set as the first controller. That Now I'm going to go ahead and try to get my Wiimote set up. So again, I'm going to click the sync button and then I'm going to press the sync button on my actual Wiimote and hope that my new little awesome Bluetooth adapter can find it. Oh, it seems to have found something. Yes, and there we go. I now have a Wiimote connected, and I'll see if I can get it set up as the second Xbox controller. So it sees the nunchuck as well as it has lit up the second LED, which would mean that it is now the second controller. So I've got two Xbox controllers, 
that are really just Nintendo controllers. How freaking awesome is that? Honestly, dead on plug and play. I'm going to go ahead and try to get these set up here in a minute and show you how well this is going to function over the Bluetooth. Real quick, before we get testing the Wiimote and the Wii U Pro Controller, I want to see if DS4 Windows can pick up my PlayStation 4 controller over the Bluetooth. And this is going to save me from having to use my USB cord on an extension cable. So I'm going to go down to the right here and right click my little Bluetooth icon and then hit add a Bluetooth device. And now up here, I'm going to click this plus button and hit Bluetooth. And now I'm going to go ahead and hold the center PlayStation button as well as hold the share button until the light starts flashing on the top of the controller. And hopefully this is going to make it discoverable to Bluetooth. There we go. It seems to have discovered something. I'm going to go ahead and click it and see if it's going to connect. And there we go. The profile is already set on DS4 Windows. It instantly recognized the PlayStation 4 controller. And if I go over here, there's my controller. Already set up with my default prof profile with my teal blue custom LED. <laughs> Too easy. Way too easy. This was the best Bluetooth device I could have freaking bought. Too sick. One last note, you can actually see my PlayStation 4 controller's latency is about 10 milliseconds. I've just loaded up Wind Waker on Simi real quick just to show you that I'm now using the PlayStation 4 controller with DS4 Windows over the Bluetooth and it's working pretty dang well I gotta say. Oh geez, I smoked King of the Red Lions right in the face there. Boy, I did it again. He doesn't seem to care though. Playing Mario Kart Double Dash on Dolphin in, I don't know, 2 or 4K or something like that. I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller wirelessly over the Bluetooth. And I also have a little bit of surprise here. I'll show you once I start going. Let's see if I can do this. I have steering controls on and my uh, my controller is essentially a, a steering wheel now. Haha, <laughs> this is sick! So there are gyro control setups inside of DS4 Windows that is allowing me to do this right now. <laughs> it's a little it's a little tricky, but I'm figuring it out. I can probably adjust the sensitivity a little bit, but it's working d pretty darn decently here. I'm only in fourth place. Oh. But it's pretty awesome to use this like a steering wheel, I gotta be honest. It's kind of like using the Wiimote as a steering wheel, but it's just a little bit better. Get out of my way, Chain Chomp. Ah, get out of the sand. Haha, <laughs> this is so sick. So I have Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, and it's sort of a rail shooter for the Wii, and I've got it loaded up on Dolphin. Now, if you go into the settings of Dolphin, there's controller settings, and you can input a real Wiimote. So I don't even have to actually use WinUsoft to route this Wiimote. And I'm really stoked because now I can play Wii games on my PC with a legit Wiimote as if it's a real Wii. It's super cool. And you can see I can go ahead and hit OK. And if I grab the Wiimote, it is being picked up on the screen. Now the only reason that this actually works is because of this wireless sensor bar right here. So you can see, since I'm on the webcam, you can pick up the UV LEDs pretty awesome. So I can just have this right here in front of my monitor and this would allow me to play wirelessly over the Bluetooth with my Wiimote. It's murking fools.
So you can see I'm getting full use of the motion controls here. Fighting flipping zombies. Die! Die! Let's go out the window, bud. Out the window. Yeah, no way we can't take them all on. Here we go. Last but not least is one of my favorite controllers, the Wii U Pro Controller. And I am playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It makes an absolutely awesome GameCube controller. And you can actually use it on Nintendo on your Wii U as a GameCube controller. So, it's kind of relevant to this. Here we go. Oh geez, I already forgot how to play. Oh my god, I'm missing all the coins. I used to be pro at this. I swear I could get like, uh, what is it, double A rank or A rank or S rank or... Dang it, I missed the ramp. We got this one. Finally. You can see we're absolutely playing perfectly on this. Like I said, I think we're playing in 2K or something, so there might be the odd slowdown or lag, but it seems to be running pretty darn well, and it feels so natural with this controller. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll make sure to put the exact model of the Bluetooth adapter that I got so that in case you have a Windows 10 or maybe a Windows 8 PC and you want to use a Wii U Pro controller, maybe a Wiimote, or even your PlayStation 4 controller over the Bluetooth, then you'll definitely be able to with this Avant Tree Bluetooth 4.0 micro USB adapter. It said plug and play. I plugged it, we played, that's that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, do that subscribing thing if you haven't subscribed yet, and if you wanted to leave me a nice comment, I really appreciate those. Peace guys.